welcome back guys in today's video we're going to be going for a little cruise on the motorized bike and we're just going to be talking about some new things to come to the channel so stay tuned so first things first we are partnering up with bikeberry.com once again i'm really excited to work with these guys and they're actually going to be sending me some uh, high performance parts for me to test out now the reason i say this is because um you know i buy a lot of my stuff on amazon again nothing wrong with that but they don't have a wide selection when it comes to performance parts. They have a lot of good, like, replacements, but they don't have, like, you know, stuff that makes your bike faster. Um, the way we're going to be doing this is, for example, I'm going to be ordering the F2 Thruster. Because, in my opinion, I've heard it's a really good low-end pipe. You know, it gives that good low-end torque that I'm looking for. Um, so we'll test that, you know, maybe a 0 to 20 mile an hour. And then we'll do a top speed run. Same goes for a CDI, for example. We'll do a top speed test, see if we see any improvement in the ignition curve. And for the cylinder head, we'll check the uh, temperatures and things like that. So, yeah, those are coming, some of the parts that are coming to the channel. Um, but yeah, it should be a very cool video. So, the next video that is coming up to the channel is going to be um, how to window your piston and add a reed valve. I get a lot of comments, basically daily, um, asking like, hey man, how do you do this and what is the process behind it? So the bike that in question is the uh, Hyper, you know, my Hyper build, and that had a 47 millimeter iron sleeve on it. I know, very weird setup. I changed it over, remember in last video when I talked about that ring end gap? We, uh, we took that cylinder, and I'll sh show you guys some pictures, and we did tons of work on it. I mean, we fixed the strip exhaust bolt, I widened the exhaust at 32 millimeters, I raised it two and a half millimeters, I uh, worked on the intake transfers, things like that, and I added a boost port. So this thing should rip. Um, I'm going to be adding a new piston, so that way I can show you guys how to window it. And plus the one that was in it was getting a little bit um, out of clearance, so to speak. Uh, it had a lot of rough edges on it, so it's about time it gets replaced. But uh, it should be a very cool video. It's going to be a full guide, you know, how to window your piston and how to... Um, add the reed valve make sure you're not gonna have any air leaks and just basically how to install it properly because a lot of guys will add the reed valves without the windowed piston or a boost port and they'll be like my bike doesn't idle it lost power well that's because a reed valve right the intake duration um, it's basically a fail safe so like if you have a reed valve and you have a lot of intake duration it doesn't matter but the thing is the intake has to be open at all times so that the valves can work properly so not only with the window piston but when you add a boost port it's going to allow that window to travel um through the boost port and keep the intake open the whole time so that's kind of the uh, point behind i'm not getting into too much detail in today's video on it but stay tuned for that That's going to do it for today's video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give me a like uh, hit that subscribe button as always um, stay tuned for some more awesome videos like i said i know the content's been a little bit lacking lately but hopefully once we get those uh, performance parts on hand and we can really start doing some serious testing and i just can't wait guys it's going to be awesome all right see you in the next one